Well, hello again, everyone. Mental Fox here. Thank you for joining me once again on this playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. We're here in the Undercroft. And part of the reason we're here is because I just sold off a bunch of inventory. I got my inventory count down to 25, which isn't too bad. Uh, one major thing that I did, major change that I did, is I changed Iron Bull's weapon. Uh, he was using this Masterwork Strong Great Blade. And what was great about it is that it has this Dragon Slaying Rune in it. Um, but with this Sulavine blade that I've got now, it does so much more DPS that I felt like it was time to upgrade him to a better weapon. Now, as you can see, it's got an empty rune in it, so I'm going to need to get me another dragon slaying rune to put into that weapon so that when I go fighting dragons, uh, he is well equipped. So that means we need to craft a dragon slaying rune. And in order to do that, we need to go over here to this machine. And here's where we craft runes. And I see that I have, I guess, a schematic for a master dragon slaying rune. And I'm like, well, why craft a dragon slaying rune? Which gives you, up here it tells you, plus 20 damage versus dragons. When I could craft a master dragon slaying rune, which give me plus 32 damage versus dragons. Well... I need a blank rune stone, and I need six poison spider glands. And I cannot believe I don't have six poison spider glands after all those poison spiders that we fought in uh, the Hissing Wastes. I know where I could get a blank rune stone. Um, but like I said, I... Okay, I, I have five of six poison spiders. So I need one more poison spider gland, and I need a blank rune stone. So let's go buy a blank rune stone. Before I forget about it. There's a, actually, I don't need to go through there. I need to come out here. And then I can do a fast travel to here. And then we'll go to this little merchant right here. Alright, Bonnie Sims. So... I know she sells blank rune stones. Okay, so and they're pretty cheap too. So let's buy a blank rune stone. So we're covered there. That is the only crafting material she sells. I don't know if there's anybody in the game who would sell something like poison spider glands, and I certainly don't know an easy way to to look that up. I mean, unless I went online or something, and I'm not going to do that. Um, so now I need one more poison spider gland. And like I said, I know that they exist in the hissing waste. So we may end up going back there. But first, we need to go check in with our war council. I know we have a perk we need to spend. And they are no doubt finished with their missions because it's been such a long time since I've seen them. We've spent a lot of time in the exalted wastes. Exalted Plains. Exalted Plains? Yeah. Getting my localities mixed up in my head. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Back to the room which makes my game crash. I've made some changes to my graphics settings. I don't know if they'll make any difference or not, but if it crashes or crashes, I'll deal with it. Perk time. Um, what do I want to do here? Uh, I could do this to increase my inventory capacity, which is a convenience. And then exclusive training, gain one combat ability point for the Inquisitor only. That Dalish elf who joined us is eager, to say the least. The Dalish possess great knowledge. We should be honored to have him with us. Yes, yes. Uh, so now that it looked all that interesting. Connections... Sterling reputation. Uh, I don't care about that. A favor for a favor. I don't care about that. Rare stocks. Uh, I don't care about that. Friends in high places. Where the Inquisition deigns to spend its coin, people take notice. Merchants will send messengers when they have sales at their stores in hopes the Inquisitor will put in an appearance. Uh, I don't really care about that either. Secrets. Uh. Uh. Eagle-eyed. 
significant increase to the discovery range of the searching action. I might not. That might not be a good thing. Um. Oh, I don't care about that. Huh, there's gotta be something good here, right? Was I just in secrets? I was. And Any forces. Activity? What if the? My agents find That's weird. Anything, you will be the first to know. All right. Right. Oh, I don't care about that. Master focus. Oh, maybe I could do this. Third tier focus effects. That's not too bad. 10% increase to defenses. Eh. Increase the maximum number of potions the party could carry by four. Wow, that actually might be a real good thing right there. Because I'm always running out of potions. I'm going to do this one. It's not very exciting, but I think it'll be very useful. Okay. Whoops, I accidentally backed out of this room. Gosh, can you believe that? That's crazy. I wasn't done in there. Now I need to go back in. Hey guys, long time no see. Alright, uh, looks like we got something over here in Orlais. Uh, Pursue Marquis Buffon. Inquisitor Lady Jeanette Lagasp ordered her assistance. Oh, I'm sorry, offered her assistance in finding Marquis Buffon in the mountains. But her forces proved to be allied with the Marquis. They turned on us at an inopportune moment, and the Grey Wardens took heavy losses fighting them off. You son of a. After much bloodshed, we have located Marquis Buffon's secret stronghold deep in the Gamorden Peaks. The Grey Wardens continue to fight bravely, but they have suffered many losses. I recommend deploying them with care, lest we lose them entirely. Yours, Lieutenant Suzanne Clochet. Recommend deploying them with care? What, do you think I deploy them willy-nilly? Huh? You don't think I put thought into when I deploy my forces? And then I think I just did some gather coin. Whew. We got, um... 112 gold, and then Inquisitor's Throne Accessory 1. Oh my goodness gracious. I've been looking for that. Fell on my resources, we got some Blood Lotus and Chastened Throne Accessory 1. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see, we've got this here. Gather herbs, no thank you. Uh, I know there's some stuff that we can unlock in um, the uh, Exalted Plains. What's this support from Navara? Well, let's just open these things up first. Gain access to Gilan Nain's Grove. Chief Engineer Bernardine's report to Commander Cullen. Initial inspection, elven ruins, ancient, largely structurally unsound, mortar damp and crumbling, recent damage to load-bearing walls, claw marks. Task, clear loose rubble and reinforce collapsed passageway for safety. Requirements, 10 strong workers, 2 junior engineers, 2 guards for security, 3 wagon loads of squared oak beam, 170 kegs of brown ale. <laughs> Alright, forces. You've seen the report. Our workers can clear the path to the crow fence. Let's do it. Gain access to Ghislaine Nain's Grove. The passageway is clear and safe. Access to the grove restored. 170 kegs of ale. Not nearly enough for 15 hardworking Inquisition men and women. Chief Engineer Bernardine. Oh, is that so? New area unlocked. Not at the moment. Uh, let's see. Repair point auger. Report for Commander Colin, Citadel du Cabo, where Selene's forces are stationed, was cut off from the rest of the Dales when Pont Agar was destroyed in the Civil War. Owing to the rocky terrain around the Citadel, it has no other access points. Forces within could well have been stranded for weeks. Well, we better clear that up, hadn't we? I will send our best builders as soon as you give the word. I give the word. Repair Point Agar. Point Agar has been repaired, and the Citadel is once more accessible by road. Oddly enough, we have seen no sign of activity from the army. Something to investigate further, perhaps? Cullen. Okay, that opens up a new area. Pretty cool. Uh, investigate the Elven Glyphs. The Elven Glyphs, discovered in the Dales, might prove valuable. Cursory inspection suggests they predate the ruins in which they were found possibly transferred onto the stone from a much older edifice that dates back to the original elven nation, or even earlier. Ooh. One of our mages, a Dalish elf named Cillian, believes he may be able to translate the glyphs, glyphs, provided we grant him the needed context. Well, let's do that. Uh, 
It required some gift to several Dalish clans traveling along the Waking Sea coast, but Cillian was able to get the texts he needed to translate the glyphs. He claims they are a kind of map showing the location to an ancient temple dedicated to Durthamen, the elven god of secrets. He has provided us the location, but it should be noted we're not the first to investigate these glyphs. A group of treasure hunters evidently mentioned them several years ago, though they have not been heard from since. New area unlocked. Cool. All right. Um, and if you'll bear with me, I'm going to back out of here and come back in. Uh, just because I'm afraid my game is going to crash. And, um, found some more thrones, right? That's exciting, right? Uh, and then these uh, new quests have opened up as part of new areas being opened up. That completes the uh, Scattered Glyphs quest. Uh, we got an area we need to investigate. And then this one has opened up to investigate Ghislaine Nain's Grove. So now I'm going to go back in here and uh, give them, give my uh, people missions to do. Okay, for those of you who are curious, yes, my game did crash as soon as I re-entered this room. So I exited and set my settings to medium, so here we are. Uh, let's see, let's get support from Navara here. A letter delivered to Skyhold. First, allow me to compliment the Inquisition's many victories on behalf of the Forsythia family. While Southern Thetis has seen the worst of it, we recognize that recent tragedies concern us all. Your Inquisitor's work in sealing the rifts and stabilizing the South has lessened troubles here as well. The Forsythia House would lend its support to the Inquisition. We would be happy to meet with your representatives to make it official. Tyrion Veneto, on behalf of Her Grace Duchess Amalia. A missive from Josephine follows the letter. The Forsythias are one of the great noble houses in Navarra. While other noble families are divided between those who support the Pentagast line and those who would see new blood on the throne, the Forsythias have remained politically neutral. I doubt the Forsythias' offer is entirely altruistic. There are advantages to aligning with a powerful, far-reaching institution. Nevertheless, accepting their support gives us allies in Navarra without making a significant political statement, Josephine. Okay, uh, let's see. Josephine says, let's keep the visit friendly. A few representatives can discuss the form their support will take. Liliana says, the Forsythias might be more generous if they knew we had certain information on them. Jeez. And Cullen says, approach from a position of strength, send a personal guard with our representative. Eh, let's see what, let's just be friendly, okay? Come Other on now. Don't be paranoid all the time. Um, uh, defeat Marquis Buffon. Inquisitor, we have Marquis Efalosh Buffon trapped in her fortress in the Gamordan Peaks and are preparing to make a final assault. While we might earlier have ignored her transgressions in light of the greater threat to the world, it is good that we did not. Marquis Buffon's crimes will go, go well beyond smuggling or illegal mining, and she has an ally in Lady Jeanette Legasp, who has come with Venatori mages to defend the Marquis. The Wardens have concerns about the Venatori using blood magic or their ties to Corypheus to influence their minds, but are prepared to follow your orders. We cannot delay for long as demons in the mountains continue to harass our flanks. Please send your orders yours, Lieutenant Suzanne Klochek. Leona says, if my scouts can find an alternative entrance, the Venatori may not have time to affect the Wardens. Colin says, we have no choice but to send the Wardens in. They must be prepared to fight whatever the Venatori attempt. Let's uh, do Leona's thing. Let's uh, see if we can't keep the Venatori from affecting the Wardens. Let's see what we have. Yes, let's see. And now, Colin, we need to give Colin something to do. Um, let's see... I mean, is all the only things available resources stuff? Um, yeah, these are all completed. Let's see if there's anything in Ferelden. Huh. Well, I hate to send them out just gathering herbs and such, but that might be what we do. Yeah, then we may just have to do that. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I wish I could gather freaking poison spider glands, you know? Gather herbs. This would give us what? Um, uh, 
What does it tell? With Carabonish now occupied, the Inquisition has access to the fertile Banarn as well as the busy dinner and markets, both a ready source of herbs using crafting both poisons and potions. Trade in Ferelden is currently erratic, so access to such herbs will vary greatly. From week to week, black market sources also exist, but the riskier an attempt to find resources is, the greater the chance of turning up nothing at all. What? Um, I don't know. Just do that. Inquisitor. Kind of feel bad about that. I'd rather use them for something else, but you know, they just fought a hard, hard battle. So. Okay, one thing that I think I want to do while I'm here in Skyhold is I want to go down here to the Quartermaster and see if I could upgrade my potions. And I think this is where I go to do this. I want to upgrade uh, my health, my healing potions, so they do more. And um, I actually forget what the other thing is that I wanted to upgrade. This is not the um, Quartermaster. Where am I going? Where am I going? He's over here. This building. What's this? Hey, the surgeon. Check it out. Huh. Okay, so this must be the infirmary then that I... When I upgraded the courtyard, this is what I got. Let's see what the surgeon has to say. Inquisitor. Yep, that's me. Oh, okay. You're welcome for your nice new infirmary. Alright, whatever. I, di I didn't do it for the... I didn't do it for the notoriety. I did it because it was the right thing to do. Okay, no, that's requisitions. Do I have any that I could turn in, by the way? No. What? Nothing. Unfortunate. Where do I upgrade my potions? Why can I not remember where this is? I thought it was here. Do I talk to him? Whatever you need. How's it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here all, all right, the way. I already got all this I've from him. I've out the slackers, given them what for. I think... Where... Goodbye, your worship. Where do I upgrade my potions? Do I do that in the Undercroft? I guess I do it in the Undercroft. I don't know why I thought it was here. I don't care about those stupid books. All right. Um... I guess it's in the Undercroft, I guess. Sorry about that. It's a big place. It's easy to get confused. At least that's, that's my excuse. This is where it's been. Equip potions. Upgrade potions. Alright. Uh, health. Healing potion. So, for healing too, I need... Five Prophets Laurel, I have three. Wonderful. For Regeneration Potion upgrade, I need... Oh, I haven't increased the duration one. I need uh, I need more Elf Root. I don't have enough Elf Root. Increase Healing one. I have that. Increase Healing two. Ooh, I could do this. Let's just go ahead and do this. Okay. Proximity Heal. Heals nearby allies for the same amount. Oh, that sounds awesome. Let's do that. Okay. For this, I need increased duration, too. Okay. Cool. That's neat. So, I need to get my hands on some more elf root. Shocking. I know I could get some, but it wouldn't be enough. Um, let's see. My um, bees, I've got them maxed out, man. Oh, no, I don't either. I thought add some wasps. Yeah, let's do that. Let's add some wasps. The swarm of bees splits off to attack the first enemy that comes near the original target, and both targets suffer the full effect of the swarm. Well, I don't really care about that, but... Um, yeah, let's do it. Cool. So I've maxed out my jar of bees. I use that occasionally. That's very helpful. Healing mists. Interesting. I haven't seen this. Creates a small healing mist in the target area, instantly healing allies within for 289 health. Hmm. Oh, wow. Let's do this. I got all this stupid spindleweed and all this other stuff. Uh, increases healing amount by 38. Uh, and there's Prophet's Laurel. So Prophet's Laurel is starting to look important. And then I've got this Pitch Grenade, which I've used a couple of times. But, um, unfortunately I don't have enough stuff to upgrade it. And then I've got some, um, I don't, I don't really use these tonics very much. Uh, Rock Armor tar Tonic, Tarnic, I've used a couple of times, but that also requires Elf Root, so... 
Come on, get off the elf root. We could spread it out a little bit, right? Tears of the Dead. What does this do? Uh, the next three hits inflict poison on the target, causing 44 damage per second for 15 seconds. I don't know, that sounds like a pain in the butt to use, to tell you the truth. This requires Blood Lotus. They could have spread that around a little bit more. It's an awful lot of stuff that uses Elf Root and Blood Lotus. But I upgraded a, up, upgraded, upgraded a couple of things, so that's kind of cool.